Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be factoring a polynomial, a cubic one. Now, looking at this expression, it just reminds me, what would happen if you replaced 3 with 2? What would happen if you had, instead of this expression, x squared plus 2xy plus y squared minus 1? We could easily factor this, right? Why? because this would be a difference of two squares. So that's pretty interesting. If you replace the threes by twos everywhere, then you get a difference of two squares. So does that mean that we get a difference of two cubes here? Well, not directly, right? So we're gonna have to do something about it. But this is definitely factorable. If we had the squares, then you could definitely proceed with that one. Now, let's see how we can, we can manipulate this one. So I have x cubed plus 3xy plus y cubed. Now, I don't have 3x squared y or 3xy squared. If I did, then it would be a complete uh, perfect cube, but I don't have that. The only thing I have is 3xy. So how can I use this information? Well, here's what we're gonna do. First of all, notice that with these kinds of problems, you'll find something that would allow you to write either like a sum of two cubes or a difference of two cubes. And this is how you can get started. Let's go ahead and take these two together, x cubed plus y cubed, all right? So we're gonna put those together and then see if we can factor it in some way. All right, so I'm gonna write it this way. Now, obviously, there's a formula for x cubed plus y cubed, right? We can factor it as x plus y multiplied by x squared minus xy plus y squared. But guess what? This is not very helpful in this case. Why? Because I'm not able to use the 3xy that way. So what I'm going to do is, and I think I mentioned this a couple times in other videos, I can write x cubed plus y cubed in a different way, such as this one. x plus y quantity cubed, right? Minus, so what I'm going to do is, basically, I'm going to be subtracting the terms that are not there, so what am I missing? I'm missing the 3x squared y plus 3xy squared. So I can take it out as 3xy times x plus y. So this is the critical part of this problem because once you do this, things are going to get nicer. Okay? So instead of x cubed plus y cubed, we use this expression here. So let me go ahead and show you that one more time. So instead of this, we wrote that. Okay? So, I'm going to proceed with this one now. So, how am I going to proceed? Okay, here's the thing. I, I got x plus y cubed, which is a perfect cube, and I have minus 1 here. And notice that there are four terms, well, kind of, and the two terms in the middle, they have something in common. They have 3xy in it, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the stuff around a little bit. So, I, I'm going to write it this way x plus y quantity cubed minus 1, minus 3xy, multiply by x plus y, plus 3xy. Awesome. Now, how is this going to help me? Well, here's what I'm going to do next. I got x plus y cubed, which is a perfect cube, minus 1, which is another perfect cube. So I have difference of two cubes. I'm going to go ahead and factor that. How do you factor difference of two cubes? Well, we kind of talked about it here in the sum of two cubes version, but it's pretty similar. So we're going to write it as x plus y minus 1 multiply by. The next term is going to be x plus y squared minus x plus y times 1, which is x plus y in parentheses, plus 1 squared, which is 1. Awesome. Now for the last two terms, what I can do is I can actually take out a negative 3xy. Then I should be getting x plus y. Notice that x plus y is positive here because I took out a negative sign and minus 1. Awesome. Now what you see is we have a common term here. Do you see that? x plus y minus 1 and x plus y minus 1. So the next step would be take that out and factor the rest. Okay, so I have x plus y minus 1 multiplied by. Now, I can go ahead and expand this. 
x plus y squared. Mm, I was going to expand it, right? Okay, cool. So it's going to look like x squared plus 2xy plus y squared minus x minus y plus 1. So this is just the first part. So since I took this out, we're going to have minus 3xy. All right, that's going to be my other factor. And let's go ahead and simplify that. So x plus y minus 1. So we can actually write the result this way, since this is going to be the final answer. My original expression was x cubed plus 3xy plus y cubed minus 1. And that is equal to x plus y minus 1 multiplied by x squared plus y squared. Now, if you subtract 2xy and negative 3xy, you should be getting a negative xy from there. And then I have minus x minus y plus 1. And that should be it. So this is the final answer. If you factor, you should be getting this as an answer. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I try to keep it short. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, be safe, take care, bye-bye.